I know it's Sunday night. I uh, just thought I'd do a little update. Um, mainly because, like, this big level... Uh, I've got a bit stamp up at the moment. But this big level, this 236 Fib level in uh, Bitcoin dollar, it looks like we closed above it last night, right? And so normally, when you close above a big 236 Fib level, it's a bit like a big um, moving average or a daily 50 moving average, which I haven't got on here. Uh, when you close above them, you expect them to hold. You shouldn't go back beneath them if they're going to be support. And what I think we saw last night, because it's very unusual to blast through a 236 Fib the first time without a bit of showing a bit of respect, if you like. And what I think that we might seeing is one of those situations where the daily, you know, closes above it, but the weekly doesn't. And I think if our weekly candle closes above, sev below 7,000 or below this 236 Fib level, then we'll see a bigger pullback next week. And more likely, you know, 50% of this big rally. But what I think we could be seeing, and let's go back to the daily in Bitcoin. So I thought this was a wave one and a wave two, and this is a big wave three. And if that's the case, then we could be looking at uh, a pullback of this wave three, which would normally be to about the 38.2 Fib level. But in the case of Bitcoin, which always seems to go the extra mile the other way, um, you know, we really could come down to the 50 or the 61.8 or these previous lows. If this is an extended fifth wave, we could come down potentially uh, much further, um, 49.50. I don't think that'll look right at all, because remember, we're really looking for a correction on the scale of this correction here. So what we're really saying is we're setting up two weeks of back and fill. This period, say, if we took the same time that this correction took, which is very common, then we're setting up a period of back and fill that's going to take us well, potentially four weeks, isn't it, actually? So mid-May to mid-June. So let's see. Sometimes, you know, they're not the same. They're not, they don't look like previous waves. You know, you, the mileage varies a lot. A lot of people, um, what I thought was weird is a lot of people were trying to short. The reason I think that we went beyond this is what a lot of people recognised it was a big level and were trying to short it. And so their stops were the fuel for us to go beyond the level. Now, what's the most common pattern when you overshoot a level? The most common pattern, I think, when you overshoot a level is the head and shoulders pattern. And that's what we got here on the 15 minute in Bitcoin. So we got a left shoulder, head. Our first warning that this wasn't going to work was this double top. Double tops are always say, I've stopped going up. Okay, so here's the low of our double top. And if we measure from the high to the low, we should go twice that distance. So here we are at our double top target. And here we are at our 15 minute 200 moving average, which is our hourly 50 and the backstop. So potentially we've completed our correction in Bitcoin. We could rally from here. And if we close back above this 7,026 level, we're all kind of bullish. But we got a little bit stretched getting up here, didn't we? So... Yes, I would be prepared. I would be uh, getting ready to take some profit if we close the week underneath this 7,000 level and look for a bigger pullback, maybe to 6,000, which would be the th 382 of this swing. So big round number 6,000, 38.2 fib. That would be a good one. Or 65.78 is the 236 of this swing from this wave, what we think is a wave three. So definitely from here, we are we do look set to bounce on the hourly. And what happens on this bounce will tell us. If we close, so the weekly close is always Sunday night. So one o'clock in the morning, if I look and if we are back above this 7,000, I'll be very happy. And, and we'll look then for a retest of the highs. We're due in Bitcoin for some consolidation. If we can see some bullish sideways consolidation, which you very often see in wave four, then hopefully some of these altcoins will start to follow on and carry on going higher. So we'll look at one more. We'll look at prices at one more. Let's do um, 
some Binance. Um, here we go. Same thing here at this level. Uh, the 236 Fib at Binance is 70.78 against Tether. We're back underneath it. And what's quite interesting in this one, and I th I'm starting to think Binance and again Tether have the biggest volume, is so remember we said on the daily at Bitstamp, on the daily we had a close above our 236 Fib level that was a 70.83. Well, here uh, in Tether at Binance, the close last night, where is it? Um, let's see, I think it's on it. Hold on, let me line that up. Close, 7076, that was the close. And our FIB level was 7083. So we didn't close above the 236 FIB level at, in, at Binance in Tether. So we are setting up a bigger pullback again. If this is one, two, three, this is our most recent five wave swing higher, then we're going to look for 65, 37, and then 59, 28. That's where our daily 20 moving average is. So this is our ideal pullback level. So for people waiting to buy more Bitcoin, that's where. If it's, you know, we might just find support here, close back up. This is a tiny little, you know, spinning top at the moment. We haven't, if we think about it, uh, the 50% rule, as long as we don't close more than 50% of the open close of the green the previous day's open close range, you know, we're still bullish. So that's 67.25 is 50% of the open close here and 67.25. So we haven't quite tagged it even. So looking good, you know, we could carry on higher, but this is, let's not underestimate, this is a major level. So would I sell Bitcoin short here? No, there is no reason to sell Bitcoin short here. We have not broken the 15 minute 200. We have not reversed the hourly trend. If we get a big double top or a become a bigger topping pattern, you know, I still think that the bigger trend is up and the smarter way to trade this is to, is to move out of Bitcoin into some alts that are going up instead and wait to buy Bitcoin again rather than short selling it. That's my opinion. No, you know, you don't have to take it, but that's I think it's safer.